All right, Connor, uh, here in the middle. Uh, Champ Creed, Fox Sports Radio. Um, your, your stance is more of a traditional karate, Jeet Kune Do stance, and you move very well uh, north and south. Mm -hmm. Floyd, his uh, elusiveness allows him to move east-west, and he tends to throw his opponents off balance before they can plant and throw the power shots. Mm -hmm. With your boxing training, and there's such limited amount of time, how have you found a way to balance your energy with the movements that come with boxing as opposed to what you traditionally study for in MMA? Yeah, kar a karate style is one of my stances. But I can stand many ways. I can attack many ways. I can attack from both stances. I can switch up, go from a type or from a karate stance to a type one stance. I can go to a boxing stance. I can I can go to a Thai boxing stance. There's many different ways to stand in front of a man. And and um, I know where the shot he throws. I I know what to expect. I've seen it before. He does the same stuff over and over again. Similar to tonight, saying the same stuff over and over. So we're preparing. But him, he knows nothing. He, he knows absolutely nothing of what way I'm going to approach this fight and what way I'm going to come at him. So that's a beautiful position I am in. So I look forward to exploiting that and, and getting that knockout win. All right, and the, um, the last thing to speak to your ability of visualization. MGM Graham, before you fought Dustin Poirier, mm -hmm. a woman came up to you and said, hey, are you a fighter? And you said yes. And she said, did you fight Floyd Mayweather? You said no, but I'm gonna knock him out like I knock like I'm gonna knock out Dustin, right? This was years ago. I see you about maybe two years later, and then you bring up the fact that you will be the king of Las Vegas. Someone in the crowd says, but you gotta be Floyd. And you said he can get it too. <laughs> and now here we are. Yeah. Can you speak to the level of uh like the how you verbally speak these things and they come to it? Where did you learn that trait to visualize these things? Um I tell you, it's been one hell of a journey. <laughs> it's been one hell of a journey. Um, four years, four years I'm signed to the UFC. I was able to rise up, capture the two gold belts, capture all the records, and now I'm facing uh, the current number one guy in boxing. What a journey, I mean, I'm just blessed. As far as like visualizing it, I, I honestly feel I can predict the future. I just, I, if I see something in my head, I speak it out loud, I'll believe in it truly, and then I just, it just happens. And it's been happening for me my whole career. And I guarantee you, August 26th on the night when we're sitting back here or backstage in the T-Mobile, you'll be asking me the same question, how do you deal with it now? I just see it, I speak it, and it happens, and that's it. I can't fully tell you why, but I help, but it's just, yeah. Yeah, sure, thank you. Thanks, guys.